The harpoon hunt for a white whale, the stuff of old novels, of course, but the modern parallel might be the photographic hunt for a jaguar. For film crews in the Brazilian wetlands, the quest for the perfect shot of these all-inspiring cats is all-encompassing. Just the kind of thing that would make Captain Ahab proud. But despite the odds and danger, these explorers soldier on, chasing the glimpse of a lifetime. And here's ABC's Matt Gutman. Jaguars are so elusive that locals here call them phantom cats. But they are really 200-pound nightmares. Jaws strong enough to crack and skull like an eggshell. Scenes like this of a jaguar hunting and devouring a capybara, the world's biggest rodent at about 150 pounds, are almost never captured except here in the Pantanal, Brazil's New York State-sized wetlands. Which might explain why, during our visit there, not one, but two filmmakers are on assignment for National Geographic, both of them hoping to reveal the secrets of Brazil's top predator. First, Christian Baumeister, the stoic German who believes Zitzfleisch, German for sitting flesh or patience, is the key to getting that never-before-seen shot. In the moment the action takes place, everything is very fast. So you have to react very fast and be in the right place at the right time and do the right thing, which is very hard to do. And then there is Lawrence Waba, the tattooed and irreverent Brazilian native who says a local's touch is what ensures that close, but not too close, encounter with the phantom cat. Now look our necks. He does like this, you're dead. And though he's captured some very ahem, private jaguar behavior, Christian has captured even rarer sights, jaguar cubs, and this unprecedented sequence of a jaguar killing a caiman. So we throw our lot in with the German giant, leaving Lawrence behind. But there's barely enough room on that tiny boat for Christian's legs, much less me, because as we quickly discover, Look at that thing. Oh my God. The six foot five German has proportionally sized equipment. It's quite powerful, actually. After confessing to a slight case of camera envy, we move on. Christian says he knows a prime spot for Jaguar spotting off the beaten track. So while Lawrence plies the main river, Christian leads us down ever narrowing tributaries. We just heard via radio that there's a Jaguar upriver and should be like 10 minutes away. So if we are lucky, we're going to make it. All right, let's hope we don't get stuck. And with those words, yeah. of course, we get really stuck. It's kind of hard to get footing, huh? How's the water? Nice. A couple of crocs in here, but <laughs> I'm sinking up to my hips. It takes almost an hour to get out. So now pray. We race to the spot and it pays off. Wow, it's big. It's looking oh, right yeah, yeah. Out. It's looking right oh, out. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you see it. Virtually camouflaged between the trees, yep, we it. catch only yeah. the briefest that of glimpses. His eyes are like. Yeah. Nice. The yellow, very Teacups. intense. Yeah. We scramble up a little clip to get a better view. But by then, he's already gone. Yeah. Or it's going deeper in the bush. As the sun sets over the Pantanal, we begin the slow chug home. But Christian seems to have already reconciled with our strikeout. At some point, of course, you're asking yourself, what the hell are you doing with your life? You know, spending days and days and days <laughs> on a river and far away from home, and uh, it's hard, yeah. And out of nowhere, another boat brushes alongside us. It's our friend, Lawrence Waba. What was his day like? Mischievously, he shows us that video from just a few hours before. So sorry, Matt. But I told you, I'm the Jaguar guy. I'm sorry. I'm Brazilian. <laughs> sorry. Who knew that some of the world's greatest living wildlife photographers who spend months silently waiting for a single sequence I wish we were here. can talk so, so much trash. I'm Matt tell. Gutman for Nightline in the Pantanal, Brazil. Gorgeous. The Phantom Cat premieres this Sunday, March 24th on Nat Geo Wild.